five. Why did we not video any progress today? Well, Dad, it's kind of cold, and you started a fire, and kept burning my sticks, and I'm just going to sit here. All right. You want to help me? Want to help me? Show them what I did to the bus? No, not really. Okay. Well, I didn't really share it, but I got... And yeah, SOT and everybody could be like, oh, well, that I'm not a metal worker. I'm sorry. Um, and yes, I missed. And, uh, but for redneck engineering, I think it'll work. Um, but this vent here is the vent for the mobile or that AC heater unit. So it needs a place to vent. So the other side of the wall is a little closet nook where it's going to go. Um... But yeah, got that in. Um, it's kind of tinkered around a little bit out here. Um, took the, oh, that's the kid gate thing. It comes out so that little, it forces little kids to walk further out so the driver can see them. I pop that off there. Um, cleaned up this a little bit. It had the, rest of the stop sign holder bracket that piece there took it off this still works so i'm talking to sot um i need to get serious about laying this out and those are fixed but um laying that pattern out sending it to him and having some sort of ooh, wonder if he could cut out like a bus and Dolores the name of the bus ooh I like that I like that so what do you think what do you think oh, I, I really don't care dad alright he don't care so but yeah anyway um, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I stepped on your foot. Um, I know some people would laugh, but I kind of like this being the water fill. I got a female to female so hose can connect, then you can real slowly fill the tank from here. Shower, which I don't have the keys, but <laughs> typical Chinese, it's got two hot water knobs, but anyway. Um, and then I got to look and I thought, <laughs> this bus. This bus needs some mud flaps. Well, wouldn't you know it? Guess what I've got laying around? Guess. I bet you guessed. I got two mud flaps with the chrome mud flap weights. At some point, I'm going to get these out, clean them up, and those are going on doors to bus. But uh, anyway didn't get too much done oh let's let's go inside real quick i know some people be like you're bouncing around to, you know what i'm not a professional i'm no dirt perfect so yes yeah, it's, it's still a mess but it's coming together it's coming together so um i got to thinking last night you gotta love those middle of the night thinking about things but so i've got this switch turn the hot water tank on and then I've got this switch to turn the water pump on because I got to lay there thinking and thought well crud what if what if you get going down the road and you bump something or there's a leak or something happens and all RVs got to shut off so I got that figured out um, but anyway so there's my vent for that um and yeah so pretty well got that knocked out the way i wanted so i think at this point and yeah that'll, that'll tuck it in all right i think whoops yeah, i should tuck it in there just fine but i think i'm gonna start putting this back together and yeah 
I go from there. So, but uh, it's slowly coming together. Every day I got something else to work on. What you think? Clive, I think, I think he's really starting to like this bus. He'll sit up in that seat. And, but anyway, so we got more work to do, but I think for now we'll just kind of simmer down and go from there. So st stay tuned for more. Clive, what are we doing today? Well, sometimes you got to make a mess, and this is the this is the bus that, yeah, a lot of deacon, in my mind, a lot of correcting to make things better and more comfortable. So that's kind of the story, the theme, what's going on here. So, um, what we're going to work on now is I took all this bed frame stuff because one, it was so crazy. The amount of two before's legs, I mean, they had it to where you really could not, I don't want to say couldn't function, but you, you really could not store much bigger stuff. So, Clive said it's got to go, so it's got to go. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to kind of make this the battery hub central thing. And we're going to work on that next. You can see where the shore power line goes out, plugs into that box. That box feeds the rest, both legs, left and right. That's what the mini fridge feeds off of. That's what that feeds off of. So I'm fairly confident that that's going to be an all right thing. So, but we've got this inverter here that turn around and plug into. So if she's getting stuff ready, she can plug in and get the little fridge getting it cooled off so yeah but anyway and then also that real nice charger there is a dual charger so i'm going to run one leg of it up to the starter batteries because here in the cold i've been having to plug those in keep a trickle charge on them so uh yeah that's what we're doing next so now I'm going to work on my battery box, get that all squared away, and then I'll come through and build the bed frame to the exact dimensions that we need. So stay tuned. All right, I gotta hurry and film this while the boss is gone. Oh, he heard me. Anyway, um, got my little short power to inverter battery charging station all kind of put together. Um, got it back here in the back. Um, but yeah, I like how it turned out. Got the where whenever you plug in shore power, powers this trickle charger, trickle charger powers or trickle charges the house batteries, and it goes up and trickle charges the engine start batteries. Um, and then when the, you have the option, whenever you're unplugged from shore power. You can turn on your inverter, unplug this from shore power, plug it in, and then you can run that little mini fridge up there. So if she's getting stuff ready, starts taking off down the road, she can switch over and do that. Um, I'm not gonna do a line off the main batteries to these batteries. I don't, I don't really wanna do that, I could but I'd prefer just kind of keep that separate because I highly doubt she's going to be driving too long. And then obviously if she's at home, she can just plug in the bus, charge these batteries, get the refrigerator going, and then just switch over for driving. So not a big deal. I'm going to take a scrap wood, kind of cap that off so that no hands or nothing can get down in there. And uh, yeah, then we're going to start working on the bed frame. What do you think boss man? Huh? We doing good? He thinks we're doing good, so. All right, back to work.